What's up guys, I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media bringing you another Dokkan Battle video. So, what originally started out as a standalone video about 3 year Dragonstones for Global has kind of turned into a mini series. And while I don't have any issues with that, I just really hope that you guys are enjoying these videos because at the end of the day, you're who I'm making them for. Now before we get into the main topic of this video, I just want to let you guys know that I have all of my live streaming stuff set up now. So. Now I just need some ideas on what to actually stream. Leave your suggestions in the comments down below on what kind of streaming content you want to see from me. So in my last video, I talked about how many potential orbs global players can expect to get over the course of the 3 year anniversary celebration. I'm not going to spoil it for those of you who haven't watched it, but it's a lot. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the upcoming Purunga wishes that a lot of you guys have been asking about. More specifically, which wishes should you choose? Before we get started, I just wanted to say that all the views expressed in this video are of my own opinion. If you disagree with something I said, leave it down in the comments and we can have a discussion about it. Now for those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about when I say Purunga wishes, let me break it down for you. When the 3 year anniversary comes to Global, we'll be able to acquire special Namekian Dragon Balls. Every single day, you'll get one clue to acquire one ball, and once you collect all 7 Namekian Dragon Balls, you'll be able to summon Purunga and make some wishes. Since this video is all about the best wishes you can choose, I'm going to refrain from going into detail about how each ball can be acquired. But when the events actually arrive, you can bet that your boy Tiger will be here to let you know exactly how to find each Dragon Ball. So, you've collected all 7 Namekian Dragon Balls and have summoned Purunga. Now you'll be able to choose from the following list of wishes. 1. 10,000 potential orbs split between all 5 types. 2. 3 Grand Kai's of each type. 3. 777 incredible gems. 4. 40 million zenny worth of Hercule statues. 5. About 1,000 awakening medals, that's including 7 Supreme and Elder Kai medals, as well as 30 of each of the other Kai's. 6, 700 of some of the most useful support items, that's things like Whis, Ghost Ushers, and Android 8s, and 7. A ton of training items and training locations, including 50 of each type Platinum Shell, as well as 100 of each Z Sword, and 30 Gravity Chambers. So you'll be able to collect 3 sets of 7 Namekian Dragon Balls, summon Purunga 3 times, and make a total of 9 wishes. Needless to say, we'll be getting a ton of amazing free stuff. But before I get into the recommendations, I want to have some fun with this. Pause the video right now and comment which 3 wishes you think I'll be recommending. After that, finish watching the rest of this video and see if you are right. So I hope you guys made your picks because we're about to get down to business. Of course, when it comes down to these wishes, the most important factor is what you need personally for your account. For example, if you're really hurting for a Zenny because you want to awaken that LR Broly you just pulled, then the Hercule statues are probably worth more to you than the average player. My recommendations today will be based off the wishes that provide the most value to the most people. Starting with wish number one, potential orbs. If you've been playing this game for any significant period of time, then you know that you can never have enough potential orbs. In addition, your ability to grind them is very limited. Every single day, you can only do one stage run for one type, and you're not even getting a lot of orbs per run. Alternatively, Purunga gives you a ton of orbs for each type, and I would highly recommend everyone to choose this wish every single time. Wish number two, Grand Kai's. Next to Dragonstones and potential orbs, Kai's, in my opinion, are the third most valuable resource in the entire game. There will always be new units you'll need Kai's for, and you will never regret having too many Kai's in your box. Also remember that LR Vegito and LR Gogeta don't have farmable super attacks, so you'll have to Kai them all the way up to super attack 20. Wish number 3. So I think this one's actually a little bit more open. You can't go wrong with awakening medals, training items, or support items. They're all very important and super key to growing your account. However, the one that wins for me is training items. All I can say is that 50 platinum shells and 100 Z swords of each type is freaking amazing, and those gravity chambers will come in clutch as well. Like I said, you can't go wrong with awakening metals, but at the same time, you can also farm them anytime you want with the metal stages. So there you have it. To get the most value out of your wishes, I would go for orbs, kais, and training items every single time. 
But the great thing is we get three sets of wishes, so realistically you can change it up every single time. Maybe for your first set of wishes you go for orbs, kais, and training items, and then for your second set you go for awakening medals instead of trading items, and then for your last set of wishes you can pick up some support items. But at the end of the day, these are just my two cents. The choice is ultimately up to you. That's gonna do it for today's video. Hope you guys found it useful. And if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me and you enjoy what you see, then hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. As always, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. This was Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.